This male eagle found in Camden County, North Carolina was weak and dehydrated and had a much more frightening symptom, lead poisoning. Birds die and uh, quite often they're uh, exhibiting signs that are too bad, uh, to, 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 they've gone too far and they are euthanized. Lou Browning with Hatteras Island Wildlife Rehabilitation says 70 to 80 percent of the eagles they treat have high levels of lead in their system and the effects are devastating. Lethargic, uh, it's limp, may have vision problems, uh, staggering, uh, legs not working correctly. This year alone, Brown says there have been nine cases of eagles found with lead poisoning in northeastern North Carolina, and this guy is just one of a growing number. If they start showing other signs that there has been so much damage to their system, then ethically you need to, need to put them out of their misery. Browning says hunters are to blame for this heavy metal showing up in their system. They're getting most of this lead from scavenging deer carcasses and other carcasses that have been shot and left in the woods. He says lead bullets used to kill game are killing these symbols of strength and freedom. Now he's calling on hunters to make a small change that could have a big impact. The most direct thing would be to switch, if you're a deer hunter for instance, switch to copper, uh, copper bullets instead of lead. As for this guy, we're told he's now soaring towards a full recovery.